a Baoba has fallen. The Cameroon's opposition leader and chairman of the Social Democratic Front, SDF, Ni John Frundi, is no more. You all are welcome to Johnson Blue where you always get yourself updated. So please, guys, kindly subscribe now to this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below as we head now to the details concerning this sad news in Cameroon. I have played my part. It is time for me to rest. These were the last words of Nijon Fundi to his family, party members and close collaborators before he actually demised this night. Nijon Fundi, you know, Cameroon's opposition leader and chairman of the Social Democratic Front, you know, SDF, died after a protracted illness sources in his, you know, party told MME. Nijon, you know, who actually died at age 81, returned, you know, to Cameroon three days ago from Switzerland, where he, you know, was receiving treatment. Pari Asanga, who has, you know, been a member of the party for decades, was in tears when he actually explained, you know, to the MME how Nijon Fundi had fought a good fight. This is difficult for me. I cannot actually say how much, you know, I feel right now. There is no one like Nijon Fundi, Asanga said to the media. Nijon, you know, was a man of action and believed that the way to meaningful change could actually come from that. And but you guys, he actually made his point in his speech marking the SDF's 30th anniversary. Our experiences has actually taught us to actually always take a seat on the table and make our voices heard. It is not in boycott and abstention that we actually register the dissenting voice, but in full participation and consistently telling, you know, the alternative story and explaining how things can be, you know, done and should be done differently, you know, without blinking. Nijon Fundi said, Bet you guys, let's give the life of Nijon Fundi. Fundi was born in Babatu, near Bamenda in Cameroon's then northwest province. When you know he was actually born, he was given the title of Ni as a symbol of respect. In 1957, he actually went to Nigeria to study you know, at Lagos City College and actually worked after attending school in Cameroon at the you know, Bafunchu Basel Mission and the Santa Native Authority. In 1990, Fundi, you know, actually founded the SDF, Social Democratic Front, an opposition party. He was actually elected national chairman of the SDF in its first ordinary national convention in Bamenda in May 1992. In the October, you know, 1992 presidential election, he actually ran a successful campaign against President Paul Biya receiving 36% of the vote to Pobia's 40%. In Fundi's stronghold, Northwest Province, he actually received 86, you know, 0.3%. The opposition actually decreed the election as fraudulent and Fundi and third place, you know, opposition candidate Maigari Bello, you know, Buba unsuccessfully tried to have, you know, the election overturned by the Supreme Court. In late October 1992, but you guys, during the eruption of violence in the northwest province following the election, Fundi was actually being placed under house arrest. He was actually released, you know, roughly a month later. Frunzi and his wife Rose attended the United States of America President Bill Clinton's, you know, inauguration on January 20, 1993. He and Rose, you know, were actually photographed with Clinton and Hillary Clinton and through this, you know, uh, participation at the event had a symbolic impact in Cameroon, providing a sense of acknowledgement and legitimacy in light of Fundi's claim to, you know, have won the 1992 election. But you guys, the Northwest and the Southwest regions of Cameroon is actually in tears. Not only that, the whole of Cameroon is actually in tears because Nijon Fundi was a very, very great person. Please guys, do like now and subscribe to this amazing channel. Let's show the last love we could for this amazing person. Let his soul rest in peace.